I want to bring in Washington Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, chair of the Progressive Caucus. It's so good to have you here. Thanks for rushing off the floor. Look, I saw the statement that the caucus just put out. You called this transformational legislation that should deliver immediate, tangible change. Tell us about that change and what you think this vote means. Well, I am so proud of Democrats today. I'm so proud of President Biden. We are delivering on universal child care, where most families are going to see their child care costs cut in half. We are delivering on universal pre-K. Every three- and four-year-old across the country will get uh, pre-K. We are delivering on housing. We are bringing down the cost of housing and big, making the biggest federal investment in housing since our history. And we are taking on climate change and really cutting carbon emissions with a half a trillion dollar investment in uh, taking on climate change. We're also bringing down the cost of pharmaceutical drugs. But families are going to see that they're going to be able to pay $35 for insulin instead of hundreds and hundreds of dollars for insulin. So we're cutting costs across the board. We're investing in our next generation. We're investing in our planet. We're investing in our immigrants. And it is a big day uh, for the country as we move this bill one step closer. Of course, the Senate needs to do its job now, but I well, am confident we are going to get that done. let's talk about that step if we can, Congresswoman. I know you wanted assurances from Senators Manchin and Cinema before this vote happened. You didn't get them. How concerned are you about potential changes to the bill once it goes to the Senate? How optimistic are you that it gets passed looking very much like it does now? I feel very good about this. Um, you know, there was a framework that was agreed to. The vast majority of this bill is pre-conferenced with Senators Manchin and Cinema. Um, I have had my own conversations with them, but this is again a place where President Biden has shown tremendous leadership. He had those negotiations, and that is why we ended up at the bill we ended up at. Now, there are a few things that aren't pre-conference. We're going to have to work those out. But I believe, uh, through my conversations and with those senators, as well as the president, President's own commitment that he is confident we can get 51 votes. We're going to get this done, and we're going to get it done before Christmas, hopefully in the first weeks of uh, December. And people are going to see once again that government's got your back, that Democrats in the House, the Senate, and the White House delivered for them. We only have a minute left, but I do want to ask you about uh, something the Republicans keep talking about, that this bill is not paid for. The CBO said even with revenue from the IRS, it could add $160 billion to the deficit. What's your response? Well, first of all, it's absolutely ludicrous that Republicans would be levying that criticism at us, because don't forget, they passed a uh, $2 trillion tax scam that increased the deficit and uh, by $2 trillion and uh, put all of the uh, benefits of that towards the top 1%. Here, we know that the IRS enforcement is going to make this bill completely paid for. The wealthiest and the biggest corporations are going to start paying their fair share. But the investment side is in working people in poor people, in all Americans, uh, not the wealthiest. And I think that is a, a massive difference. Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, congratulations. And thank you so much, as I said, for rushing off the floor and coming to talk to us after the Build Back Better bill passes the House today. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.